So, I recently rewatched Pirates of the Caribbean, and I think they're amazing. And I thought, why don't we recreate what happens in the first film when he gets dumped on Rum Runner's Island? We can create our own little island survival. But yeah, I'm going to keep this intro brief because no one really wants to listen to me for extended periods of time. So, sit back and enjoy. Alright, so here we are. Welcome to Rum Runner's Island. Now, according to the films, the first time Jack Sparrow was put on this island, he managed to barter his way off with the Rum Runners, and off he went. Now, the second time, he's thrown with Elizabeth, and they burnt all the rum, the food, the shade, whatever. But this time, we're just going to go into some alternate universe. There is no Elizabeth, and it's just Captain Jack by himself, and... Uh, his stash of rum. Uh, also, I did give him the liberty of giving him a flintlock with a single shot. And we have a uranium knife. It, it spawned uranium and I thought I'd keep it for the memes. Um, there's also an ancient danger here. In, in this timeline, there is a big ancient danger right in the center of the island. <laughs> so we're, we're just going to roll with that. Right, first things first. I think we should probably build ourselves a little house and start getting some food growing. <laughs> since we have started with nothing but... Rum and a pistol and a knife. We get a nice little wooden shack built up next to this fertile grass and we get some rice growing or something. I'm not sure how safe I feel setting up next to the ancient danger, but I'm sure it'll be fine. What can possibly go wrong? See, I have this idea to save the uh, single shot for the pirate boss, but I don't know how well that's going to go, considering I'm going to guess that the pirate boss is going to be wearing full power armor and I'm going to be walking up with a flintlock with a single shot. <laughs> I love how he comes and meditates down here with all the rum. I mean, <laughs> I, I I guess that works. Just the meditation spot can be here surrounded by rum. Oh, yay, a slaver has just rocked up. Not really sure what I'm going to do with that, considering I have no silver to my name, so I can't even buy a single slave. Uh, I'll see if they want to buy anything that I have. Uh, all I own right now is rice, oranges, and bamboo. <laughs> Also, that's terrifying. That puts the snake story in a whole different perspective. Oh god, a raid now? Uh, where's that coming from? Well, I'm gonna do the most uh, manly thing and hide behind this slaver. Go on, slaver. D d do your bit, please. Oh yeah, you just had a- oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that didn't go too well for you, did it? Now, I, I, di I did forget we do have 223 bottles of rum. But I feel like it's going to be cheating if I sell these, so we won't sell them. We won't let them know about our secret rum stash. Uh, I just need to mine some more components and mine a bit of steel and then sell up a wood fire generator. And uh, this will be the tale of how Captain Jack Sparrow uh, discovered refrigeration. Oh god, and another raid. Go on, go and hit that muffalo. Wait, there we go. Oh, you're about to have a real bad time now. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's straight into the re-socialization offer. Fantastic, that means we can just recruit her straight away. Haha! <laughs> Welcome to the island, I guess. Even though you swam here by yourself. Well, looks like this isn't going to be the day Jack Sparrow discovers refrigeration because he botched the construction of the cooler. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, according to Randy, we're not going to be eating food at all because he just blighted my entire rice field. Thanks, Randy. Haha! <laughs> Randy forgets that I'm on a tropical island filled with oranges and bananas. Ah, yes, and a um, horde of flamingo. That will uh, keep us fed, I think. Ah, oh, cool, a bulk's good trader. Still, um, I haven't really got anything to trade still, except from rice, oranges, and uh, coconuts now, actually. Maybe, maybe they want to buy my lovely bunch of coconuts. We ended up having a couple more raids, both single men looking for hot bases in their area. And one of the guys met my fierce arctic wolves, which all got stabbed. And then we stabbed the other guy. Unfortunately, Honor was the weakest link. Well, that didn't go too badly. We, uh, we, we ditched the other prisoner. We slit his throat and dumped him in the water over there. Uh, and I think we're just going to go after this guy. This guy's much better. And he's not addicted to royal jelly. Right, I'm making the executive decision. Uh, we're going to start growing some sugar and making our own rum now. I mean, yeah, we still got loads down here in our little stash, but we're actually going to start making our own. Mm, another single raider armed with nothing but a club. Here we go. Let's see if he runs straight over my trap. Ha <laughs> ha! Get fucked. Huh. Uh, thanks for the pet monkey, Randy. I guess we'll rescue it and save it. Just because I'm feeling nice. We're actually going to get some heel root growing finally. Um, 
That's one thing I've definitely been missing. We haven't actually had a single piece of medicine this game so far. Hey, the monkey joined. Huzzah. These damn flamingos are back eating my crops again. Fuck's sake, go away. And stamp on that stupid gecko. Jesus Christ, this thing's tough. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, how many times do I have to hit that thing with an axe? Oh well, whatever. Right, that should be no more annoying flamingos or geckos eating my stupid crops. Oh, look what it is. It's another raider coming over here to eat my crops. I've uh, built myself a new pirate ship. Look, look at that. We could be fearsome raiders on our little rowing boat. Yeah, that's understandable why she might get the plague in the middle of a storm in deep ocean water. Grabbing some steel. Problem is, I think the plague's actually going to kill her. Because I don't have any medicine. There's no hill route on this island. Ah, well, I was trying to bring up an old meme and get the uh, preemptive graves built. Oh my god, these visitors actually have some medicine. <laughs> Give me all of it. Give me all of it. I can try and save her. Oh no, she's gone on a daze now. I think she might have just made it. But I think she's just ruined her chances. Yeah, that's, um, that's a rip. Right, the rum production has started. We're going to produce a fuck ton of rum now. And, well, we've got loads down here, but we're going to have even more. Come here, little bug. Come and meet your doom. <laughs> I don't think that's going to get old. I really, I really enjoy doing that. So this is day two of recording gameplay for this video. And I thought it'd be a brilliant idea to break out a bottle of rum. I have to admit, sometimes you just sit here and think the storyteller's broken when you're playing with Randy Rand. <laughs> I haven't had an event in ages. Well, it's, it's quite nice to be fair. I, I, I'm just sat here, I'm, I'm producing rum. The rum count's going back up. We have 281 bottles. We've got some brewing over here. It's going well. And for the uh, animal lovers, don't worry, the monkey is still alive. Everyone can calm down now. Ah, there it is. There's the raid. Here we go. Ah, oh, it's two people for a change. Two people with melee weapons. Uh, soon to make that one person when they walk over the trap and die. And... <laughs> oh, man. There's one takeaway from this video. It's watching me murder people with traps. God, do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, he turned around. No, you can't do that. Come back. <laughs> Run away. Fame into the trap. Come on. Oh. Hey. Oh, he actually stabbed my guy. Oh, God. He did stab him right in the lung. Ah, it'd be all right. Walk that off. Um. Oh, man. He had Alzheimer's. Do you reckon he just forgot there was a trap there? <laughs> oh, no. I don't think I should have taunted Randy and saying he was broken. He keeps setting raids at me now. Um. Okay, this one can actually be slightly terrifying because I don't have any traps to hide behind. Um, Alright, well, let's beat up this guy before his buddies join. Stab him. Cut him up. Stab him. Stab him real good. That's one down. Right, stab the other one. Cut him down. Come on, he needs like one more hit and he'll be down. Come on. Come on, Captain. There, there we go. Alright, go rescue your idiot friend that fell over. She might die. Uh oh, captain fell over. It's alright, we got a man in black. Quick, go rescue the captain. <laughs> oh, she did bleed out. Alright, we saved the captain. That's all that matters. Um, yeah, she she died. But this was actually all a tactical plan from me. The master plan. But, you know, pe things people don't think of. Because now we have a uh, guy with a gun. Uh oh, this, this, this could be a little bit of a problem. We've got a mega spider here. Come here. Oh, yeah, you liked that, didn't you? Oh, my God, it's doing nothing to him. Quick, Captain. Activate bait and shoot. That's not activating bait and shoot. Okay, just punch it. Oh, God, he's going for the Captain now. Oh, my God, this thing just doesn't want to die. Grab a knife. Stab it. Come on. Oh, he's going to be using hollow point. Anything but hollow point. Oh, he's out of bullets now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Why did you only bring six bullets with you? Stab it. Oh, no. There we go. Oh, for Christ's sake. Rescue the poor man. Even though he brought six bullets with him. Here we go. We got another raider coming at us. Uh, he's only got a great bow. 
That's all right. Um, he's not actually attacking straight away, so... We're, we're, I think the plan is we'll just run up and stab him in a bit. Well, we're going to have to stab him because our man in black only bought six bullets with him. Get him. Get... Yeah. Okay, that was... It was easy. You just stabbed him straight in the chest. God, a wanderer just joined. Uh, Tom, you good? I need a brawler. Yeah, yeah, he's all right. I'll take that musket off him in a minute. But we'll take this prisoner anyway. I actually start building my numbers back up in this colony. <laughs> Thankfully, Tom's not too bad either. Uh, I'm just going to set him up on the research bench, I think. I've got a great idea. Uh, I think a great way to recruit these prisoners is by forcing them to drink rum. So that then they're happy and they'll want to join us. Kind of just sitting around at the moment until we research machining so I can actually make some guns. Because right now we're all just rocking bow and arrows and melee weapons. Ooh, oh, oh, that's actually not an ooh, that's a raid. They've got guns. He's got grenades. Yeah, that's not very cash money. I'm going to want to kill the guy with grenades first, I think. He's going to be scary. Uh, okay, his armor just ate that arrow, which is understandable. Oh, he's burned himself up. Hang on. He's doing a great job at killing himself. Uh, can we get, get him? Get him. Stop him. Stop him. All right, there we go. There we go. Stab him down. Cut him down. Perfect. Right, we're going to hide in this little hole here and wait for the other three. Right, he just hit the trap. Right, cut him up. Cut him up. I, mean, that, I don't know where that guy's going. Hopefully, he's just going to keep walking away and give us time to cut his friend down. Oh, no, he's coming back. Oh, he's not, he's not retreating. Quick, get him. Get him. Cut him. Stab him. There we go. Easy game. Melee weapons are overpowered. I'm still not doing a proper melee run challenge before you ask King Boo. But yeah, we've actually finally acquired ourselves some guns. We've got grenades. We've got a uh, UMP-45, a revolver, some armor. Yeah, things are going to go well, I think. All right, but the prisoner got over his infections, which are good. Uh, he has some pretty decent stats, so I didn't really want to lose him. Uh, the good thing is now we can actually start chatting to the prisoner. So we're going to do Operation Drink Rum on him. So we're going to give him a bottle of rum. And then... No, no, okay. No, no, no. We don't want to give him too many bottles. No, not too many. Just, one. just a couple of bottles of rum. So he's uh, nice and drunk and happy. And then we'll start chatting with him. I have to admit, this is actually quite a nice looking little pirate village. It looks very nice. I, I love the fences. I mean... I should probably build a proper wall at some point, but what's having defense when your base looks nice, am I right? Ah, re-socialization offer. Nailed at that time. Ah, uh, yeah, get in my colony. Join me. Welcome. You can now have some cloves and rum. Aha, <laughs> I'm building myself a fearsome pirate crew. Uh, we, we, we just need some guns and some armor and then maybe some transport pods and then we can go raiding the other islands or something. We actually need to start growing some more food. I think a small patch of rice and bananas and coconuts aren't quite uh, quite enough these days. I have to admit, I was thinking about creating an army of crabs and using them as war weapons, but I already get shouted enough for using animals as war weapons. I don't think I need any more hate on that front. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, now there's been a crab migration. It's almost like it's destiny. Quick. Tame all the crab. Go, my child. Tame them all. We'll create an army. It will be beautiful. Watch him anger like the whole horde of them and anger all of them. Oh, no. We've got one rim crab. <laughs> oh, just doesn't sound right. <laughs> just be like, watch out, baby. I've got a couple of rim crabs that attack. <laughs> oh, God. It happened. Rim crab revenge. Oh, oh God. Oh, run for your life. Oh my god! Get everyone over there! <laughs> He's getting mauled by a bunch of crabs! Quick, get over there! Help the poor man! Oh god, okay. Uh, Captain, get over there with a the machine gun! Start shooting them, please! Oh, Jesus. Alright. Oh, 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 he's actually down now. Oh, my monkey went wild as well. Can we go retain my monkey, please? There we go, we retained the monkey. Good job. The Earth Corruptors, eh? Um, what are they bringing to the table? Uh, a razor tooth and a man with a anti-material rifle. <laughs> don't worry though, he's got zero shooting, so I don't think he's gonna hit a single thing. Don't you do it. Don't you shoot my rim crab. Don't do it. Oh! <laughs> Why would you do that? 
<laughs> Why? Alright, there we go. We're starting to get some stabs on. Yeah, he, he, I think he's done for now. There we go. You get what you deserve. Oh, it's got a bad back. Almost feel bad for shooting it. No! It's killing my other rim crab! No! Stop! Oh, oh my god. Did I? Oh my... Okay, get inside. Get inside. Christ, this thing's bulletproof. Grab that antimaterial off. We might need it. Ah! It might be bulletproof, but it's not trap proof. Oh no. The dreaded seagulls. Oh god. They're not going to start screaming at me, are they? Maybe I could create the ultimate army of crabs and seagulls. We will deafen the enemy and then nibble their toes. The ultimate torture. Oh god. Bugs. That's right, there's an animal herder out there. They can deal with that. I'm just going to sit here and pretend everything's okay. Here they come. I hope the kingdom are ready. Get them, boys. Do, do, do your thing. Hit them with melee weapons and fight fierce and bugs. Ah, it's all right. They calmed down for us. Good job, boys. Thank you very much for that. See, I didn't want to hit them with the rim crab seagull combo because I'm pretty sure that's a war crime in itself. I might have the UN turn up and shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> they were selfish bastards as well. They just left blood all over my lovely beach and then bled out in the water over here. <sighs> no manners at all. I suppose someone's got to clean the beach up after the mess those kingdom people left. All right, well, I think I'm going to end it here. This has been a quite fun little playthrough, and I've been thinking about changing my content a little bit. So when I have an idea, I do two or three episodes on it and create like a mini series rather than just one episode after another after another because i feel like it's getting a little bit repetitive so let me know if you think that's a good idea and uh yeah thanks for watching